Hello! I'm going to draw a bee as if we're looking at the side of it, like it's landed on a flower. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw the wing. And the way I'm gonna start this is I'm going to make a very skinny V, and then I'm gonna top it off with a hill, connect those two lines, okay? Kind of like a long, skinny ice cream cone. All right, the next thing I'm gonna draw is I'm gonna draw the middle section of the body. So it's basically going to be, um, I'm gonna draw two, like a hill, and then a smile. So I'm gonna start from this wing and I'm gonna make a little hill. Then I'm gonna start from the bottom of the wing right here, go down and come back up. And I'm not connecting it yet because this is going to be the head, okay? So now I'm going to be adding a little round shape right onto here. So I'm gonna make it as if it is a circle, but it's gonna kinda of come down to a little bit of a point right there. Then I'm gonna have the eye, and the eye's pretty big, and you wanna leave a little bit of a white oval in the middle, that's the highlight where the light is reflecting off of the eye, and that will make it look a little bit more realistic. If you wanna add like a little smile to it, you can. If you wanna add little eyelashes, you can. Now I'm gonna do some antenna, and they're actually gonna kinda of go up and over, up and over, just like that. Really like a little, kind of like a letter L or an angle right there. All right, now I'm gonna get the back of the body. So I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna go out, start right here, and I'm gonna come up to the wing. So round it out to the wing because this is gonna go right up here and just that little connection right there. Yours is not gonna look exactly like mine. You just try your best. The other wing, we would be able to see it, but we would just see the side of it. So I'm gonna go from the middle part of the body where this one is, I'm gonna go up and then just curve down and it's behind that wing. That's all I need to do. Now, if you've ever looked at the wings of a flying insect, they almost remind me of like stained glass. So you can kind of make almost like random little lines that aren't perfectly straight and kind of just connect them and go from there. It gives you this kind of, almost like the veins of a leaf sometimes. I'm gonna draw a few more in there. And the same thing with the back, you can add some of those lines in there. Just makes it look a little bit more realistic. All right, now I'm gonna get the legs. How many legs does a bee have? So a bee has six legs because they're an insect, right? So you're gonna have two pairs coming, they might all be coming from the center here, but I'm gonna do them in little sections. And I'm just gonna make them like little U. See how that was like a little U? U, U, and then I'm gonna make a V, okay? That's gonna make it look a little bit more realistic. U, U, V. And also instead of just drawing like one line, this you can color in U, U, and like a little V. So there's kind of the three that would be on this side. And then behind it, I could do a shorter U because I'd only see part of it, right? And if you don't want to draw the other two, maybe they're hidden behind something else, I'm gonna um, leave it like that, even though we can only see the four. Um, but if you wanted to, well, I'll put them in there in case, say, in case you want to do that. I'm just gonna draw two little sections back there where you can see the back of it. All right, what are we missing? What are we missing? So this is coming a little bit more to a point, but I'm not gonna add on a separate like letter V. Then I'm gonna add the stripes here. And your stripes are gonna be curved because the body is curved. So those lines will be curved instead of straight up and down. That'll make it look more real. So you're almost doing a little curved line. And you just decide however many you're putting. I just try to put them the same kind of distance apart like that. All right, so I'm gonna start with this part is gonna be black and then skip. So I have my little pattern. I'm using a Sharpie, but you could use crayons, markers, colored pencils, filling it in really nicely. Okay, and you can go into the legs too. I think for the legs, I'm actually going to use colored pencil so I can see those sections better. Otherwise, I wouldn't really be able to see them very good. And I think that makes it look more realistic that we did little sections because that's how they really are. And if you really wanna draw a realistic bee, I would look at a photograph of a bee because I don't think a bumblebee is gonna stop and pose for you, but you could, do, you could do that. All right, so then you get to decide what is your bumblebee landing on? It could be landing on something 
or your bee, I'm sorry, not a bumblebee. You could decide, okay, this bee is landing on a flower because that would make sense, right? So you could draw sort of an oval and that looks like a letter C from the side and then you could add big petals. But maybe it's landed on a leaf or maybe on top of someone's head um, or maybe on something at a picnic or something sweet. Um, you could also have it flying and then maybe have a scene in the background. So if mine is on a flower, I might have my petals, they would actually go off the edge of the picture. And they're just like little curved lines that come to a point. And then there'd be one behind there. And those, maybe they're flopping down so you don't see them. And if you wanna add a little texture, like if it was a sunflower, you could see the little texture, meaning the way it feels. It's not smooth, right? It's bumpy with all those seeds in the middle. Maybe I'll add some little lines in the middle of the leaf. And then maybe this is in a field and I'm gonna have some smaller ones as they get further away, right? So if these were little flowers, they would get smaller as they go further away because that's what happens, they look smaller. So I could have some of the distance, draw those really quickly. And then maybe this is like a little hill or something and I could have blue sky and this could all be green. So it's your choice so you get to be creative with where uh, you want your bee to be. And if you look at um, bumblebees, yellow jackets, um, all the different kind of, there's lots of different styles that they look, or different ways that they look, different characteristics. So you can kind of look, if you want to not draw this one, see which one, maybe a fat, fuzzy bumblebee is more what you want, or a honeybee. I'm using a gray crayon for the wings. So I'm gonna color that all in carefully. Good luck drawing your bee.